Animal Crossing fans. Today I'll be teaching you to use an LSE. Uh, that means Animal Crossing Save Editor. Um, I like to apologize for my bad English, but I'm not English. I'm Portuguese, so you might not notice my my accent. I'm sorry about that. But I'm here to help you out. I hope you enjoy this video. And we'll start. So you'll notice my desktop. That's the drawing I did. And I and you notice too the confusion. All well, these files about the towel and stuff. You can ignore that. <laughs> so we'll start. Okay, so what matters is these files here. So first we want to go to our here, go to our to go to our website to download N N R S S E. So we search Animal Crossing New Leaf Save Editor here. And you go here and click the first option. I'll have a a thing doesn't appear, thank God, but it's, it's something it says something has been blocked. It won't have that happen to you, but my computer is a, bit, a little bit weird, so I have that appearing. So you click here on a lot of things to MLC, like a of things. Click here, and you'll see the updating player the updating manner and problems. So now you click here and download the file. Download the file. Uh, sorry, my antivirus. Antivirus is ah. <laughs> okay. So should be here on download settings called in English. Sorry, this is in Portuguese. Should be here on downloads if you have this in, in your favorites. If you don't, you go um, desktop should have your username and you click on downloads or something this folder here and should be there if you uh, put it to download there to turn further there. I put it on my desktop and here it is so you click you have to have a program like Quincy Pearl 7 zip to, or other any other program. I uh, warning I forgot to tell you this only works on window on Windows, this offline version. So you want can transfer it when you transfer it you'll see it has this file. When you transfer it you have this file here. Double click on it and you have a key drop a file or folder to be key. what file do you should drop you should drop the file you have on your sd card that's called save save data backup and drag and drop it then you have this exhibition garden and print you we want garden exhibition friend doesn't have anything that can help us really so click on garden here you should have the option various options that I'll start to explain so map you have water flowers this option orders all the flowers you have in town pretty useful Clear width, this option clears always on a top, pretty useful too. But I don't want to clear width and powers now. Now, I explain you how to put items on your map. So you can put anything on your map. Dead bamboo, dead trees, trees, uh or in tree, a lot of stuff. I think you can put anything really. I'll put 
something a picture of Flip for example oh, sorry no a picture of her is because I skipped so a picture of Ferrari for example for example I want to put it on the beach I just click on the square and ping there you go there it is when you start up the game the picture should be there on the beach you just have to check it out and don't forget to save here and you went. If you want to reset, uh, unfortunately you can reset. You just have to exit this here without saving. Don't save. Or click cancel. Without click cancel. Just start up the, the project again. And then the picture is gone, you see. Picture is gone. Uh, let me get to the pictures because we'll need it for our microwave. Microwave. Then we go to the island. An island here is a, a map of our island. It has the items, the trees, you see? Trees and other objects. It says there, Sun Cosmos, right there, here. Notice when I change it to here, it says Banana Palm Tree. It says what you have in the squares. If you want, you can place something here on the island. I don't recommend it because you can place it on your time map. Much better, but if you don't have space on the time map, you can also place it uh, on other places that I will show in a bit. So this is the island. Now you go to player. In this category, here is our picture of your player. Here you can put the player's name, you can change it. Um, I never tried this option, but uh, if your game corrupts, make sure you have a backup save. How do you have a backup save? I'll do a tutorial on that in a bit. I think, I don't know if I'll put two tutorials on the same time, we'll see later. So, Make sure to have a backup save for everything you do here because you might corrupt your game. So anything here I'll show you. Make sure you have a backup. Then, then I'll continue then. Here is your hairstyle and has numbers. There's on Tumblr, there's a uh, tutorial on this. And I'll link it in the description. Hair color has many hair colors. Face shape is our face sh the shape of the face. I think there's a tutorial on Tumblr, I don't know, but if, you, if there's a, a tutorial, I'll link it too. Okay, so I colored. You have to here are the colors. Skin color. Now the various tens. I think this must be the blackest. This is the whitest. And eh, must be because my character is the whitest. Gender. You can choose change the gender. I recommend a backup save here for here too. In pocket. You can put things in your pocket or remove it or replace it. Uh, so, for example, I can pour, I can put a microwave. So I can go here, pluck it, and put it here. Here is the microwave. Yeah. Then you have the dresser, that's the dresser, and you can go here. You can go here and put microwave too. And this one is that uh, basket you see next to cap. You can go here and do the <laughs> microwave. And uh, microwave level. So, uh, here you have the... Um, Medals you you get from Phineas, and you can change what you want. If you want gold for everything, if you want none for everything, if you want silver or bronze, saves a lot of if you want. Then we go to villagers tab, and here we see the villagers we have in our tab with their catchphrases. 
So if I wanted to change, for example, Monique to Nate, I would have changed that, I don't know, but change Nate. We want to reset, reset. This resets everything. So for example, if you want Nate with Monique furniture, you say no. And he gets the original phrase, uh, the catchphrase of Monique, and gets the furniture of Monique. If you want to, let's go to Octavian. I want him with the original furniture quote and catchphrase, say yes. And he then appears with the original catchphrase. And the furniture and the house, all the original. You can't, you can't change the exterior of the house, so I don't think you can. So don't change. Well then, you have moving here, so if you click on this, the villager, if you save, the villager will be moving in that day, in boxes, and you move the next day. If you have, for example, if you have a villager that's moving you don't want him to move, you want him to stay, you can go here, it will be selected like this, and you'll be playing with this, and you go here. We it like this, and you say, I don't want him to move, so I move that, and he'll be normal again. You can also change their catchphrases to your catchphrases. You can put anything here, and then that's all here. Now, buildings and towns. Here we have the town name, we can change it. Remember always to have a record save in case something bad happens. Native fruit, you have apples, banana fruit, even those fruits that aren't supposed to be native fruit you can choose. But be careful, record save, remember that. Grass shape, you can change the grass shape, if you like it. Townhall color, you can change townhall color. Translation color. I heard this gives problems. I don't know, but be careful. Here, days, hours, minutes, and seconds. I don't know what this is. I'm sorry. No overall days. Maybe the days that have, that have passed. This must be the hour of the day and day zero. I don't know. Wish I could help you with this. Then, here, we have every, I'm sorry, every building you have in, in, oops, I already screwed up, I'm not going to save this anyway. And you have every building you have uh, in your town. There's no, you never know if you want to put more, but I don't recommend you putting in more. And I'll explain that in a sec. So, you have classic train station. I don't, I don't recommend you having two stations. <laughs> you just move this. Um, you have bulletin bar, classic town hall, etc. And villager house. You can change the position. I only recommend changing the position of the villager houses. If you're going to change the recycle stop, a boating, a modern train station, make a vacuum safe in case. Okay, I think it will correct you again if you change this. Once. I only recommend changing villager houses. And how does this work? So, here. Go to map and you see, for example, this square has over there has 16 and 1790. Um, this means here, this is first, here is first number, here is second. Uh, there's a, tutor a good tutorial placing 
buildings in your town that are linked that should help you. For example, it's about putting flowers in your town, a square. So imagine if I have put flowers here, 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 and here, here. Imagine I have put flowers here. I wanted the house here, so I'll go to this square here that says 33 for 30. Um, and I'll go here, put 33 for 30. 34, I think, for 30. I don't remember anymore. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and I put here that information, and that will change the villager house position. And it's not recommended that you change. It says here, adding buildings in PNPs might, might not work. It's not recommended that to write buildings. Instead, just go to Sheets and unlock all public, all public work projects and shall unlock and then that shall unlock all public projects and then place them with either one. It's better than a way to avoid corruption. The um, wizard houses I already tried and it works fine. So you just change these numbers and it works. So next phase, let's go to sheets. So unlocks all public works projects, unlocks all public works projects. When you talk to Isabelle after doing this, of course, you should have all buildings unlocked. You can place them with Isabella, it's best if you place them with her. And see all glass, makes them the, gla the grass green. Maxing the bank account makes me have a lot of bells, you too. And remove all glass, all grass. It removes all the, gr the green grass, make it, makes it brown, if you want something spooky. Okay, now, don't forget, every time you do these changes, here and here, everywhere, you should save here. At the end, save, and then it's... Now you go to editor. You have here the instructions. Uh, here's the turn map. Here's the... Oh, I don't know. I recommend using another program to do this, but if you want to use this program, you can reset here, and you can apply accuracy. So you can just right click on it or left click to back to create a new flow and start sculpting this and eventually you get the down you want. I recommend another tool but you can use this one. I think it's safer on this one. Then you should import Acres, don't forget that. Just import it. Show import room too, I think. Import RAM, import address, and save. Then after your work is done, it should save. I won't save because this is a mess. And I close it, and that's all. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I'm sorry for my English. And the next tutorial should be save. Back up save, because that's very important. I'll see you then.